G'day guys, my name's Josh, you can call me Ja Woodle and welcome back to 7 Days to Die Alpha 17.3 where I am back continuing on the no crafting challenge. Oh, that was really sexy, really sexy right out of that. Look at that purple shotgun. Oh yes, love that shit. Anyway, I am back in the no crafting challenge, almost breaking my legs trying to climb a ladder to see if I can find finally some sort of vehicle. I've been running around with nothing but my own two footsies for far too long. Grab my bedroll back. Uh, I've got three sets of bicycle handlebars and one wheel. We're almost there. There's not a lot else going for. We've got way too much stuff. Need to go see a trader at some point. In fact, you know what? I don't want... I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna scrap the steel ammo. I don't care. I'll take the iron instead. I need valuable space. I've got my steroids if things get too hectic too quickly, but I need to keep on looting. There is the nice peaceful piano of morning time. I need to head back down this way. I'm looking at that thinking it's gonna be somewhere nice to loot, but I also need to go up to the trader up here and go sell some gubbins. So that's kind of my main plan right now. Head down this main road and see if I can find anything useful. The day I find a bicycle, the day my life gets infinite better. Oh, oh, random dropped loot. What have you got for me? Shotgun shells. I'll take that. Some, I'll, take, I'll just eat the vitamins straight off the bat and some beers. Do I want the beers? I could sell the beers for $34 redos. It's just, they're just not worth it for me now. The inventory space is, oh, pigly. Well, I'm going to kill the pig because I get the extra XP out of killing him, but I don't need it. Oh gosh, I could probably sell some stuff too. I don't know. This is the thing. You've got to take everything into consideration. No crafting. Anything I can get anything out of is worth it to me. I was just kind of passing by, but I seem to have woken up a zombie upstairs, which is fine with me. In fact, I might wake a couple of others up and see if I can get their attention out the front here. Just because I want to go in and raid that weapons box. There's a, a box right right inside that tent right there that usually has some pretty decent mods and stuff in it. So I want that for the no crafting challenge. I can put that on any of my weapons or maybe even a better shotgun. Imagine if I go in there and I'll pull out like a level 6 shotgun. That'll be a great day. If you can hurry up and beat down the fence though, I'd very much appreciate it. I can't shoot through this thing, can I? I can shoot through this? I always thought I couldn't shoot through chain link fence, but apparently I can. That makes me feel a whole lot better. You know what? Fuck it. I'll just uh, kill him and sneak my way in. If no one else is awake in here, that's all right with me. Once again, no one's guarding. That's always good. Search the gun store box. Shotgun. I'll scrap that shotgun. Even though I could sell it, I know, but like the parts I can sell and I get the rounds out of it anyway. I might even while I'm here, it's still very early days in the day. So I might quickly just be more into the gun safe as well. Why am I encumbered? Why? Mechanical parts. They're worth, they're worth a little bit, but I feel like... Oh, see, I want to just scrap some of the bicycle handlebars, but they're worth so much. They're worth 51 a pop. And I, I just want to keep them. I've got so many steel arrows too. Maybe I can just like ditch some steel arrows. I'm not sure. Only one level of uh, being cucumbered, which is <laughs> one of my favorite expressions ever. Rather than incumbered, I'm cucumbered. I'm totally taxing that one and using it myself. One level of cucumber is not enough to make me worry about it too much. I can keep going with that level. Weighted head, I'll take that. Shotgun shells. Uh, I've got so much steel ammo. Are you even worth anything to me? Not really. I'll scrap that. Why not? I'll take all of you. I've got so many 9 mil rounds as well. Scrap the crossbow bolts because they're not worth that much. Uh, right. What am I going to put you into? What would like a weighted head? Is there anything I can actually put it into? Or is it... Why do I have another compound bow? Oh, because it's worth 116. Yeah, but I just scrapped a shotgun that was worth about that much for just to get the ammo. I think... You know what? Yeah, yeah, nah, yeah, nah. I'll scrap, I'll scrap that one and get rid of the stone arrow. In fact, do I even need to, the uh, the uh, compounds? No, I don't. I'll just put you in here. Maybe I'll come back and pick you up. Can I get there? I'll come back and pick you up another day. That's fine. All there. What can I put the weight ahead into? I've had this problem before. I can never actually find where it goes. Ah, I don't know. There we go. I'll put the weight ahead into the fire axe, which means I can put the black die into the... No, I can't put it into that one because it's already got a mod on it. Anything in here want a mod? Anything at all? Nothing? Can I have any armor that could use it, actually? What about the padded chest armor? Modify. Yeah, one empty slot. Boom. Just like that. Straight in. Why have I lost all my encumbrance? Oh, it's because I'm not wearing my thing anymore. Is that why? Boop. Just go like that. Is that better? Yes, you love me again. All right, we're good. Look at that. We've got an empty spot again. Lovely, lovely. I'm going to quickly go into this little building over here and grab any of the mods I can find in the bookshelves. 
We'll be fine. We'll be good. This is going to go swimmingly. I'm carrying too much 9mm ammo anyway, so I may as well use it and just like empty out this place. But oh, shit. Ah, that was a bad time. That was a bad time to have to reload. Took a little bit of damage, but it didn't make me bleed. That's okay. He dodged that so well. You need to focus on my shooting. My shooting is always so bad. It's always so embarrassing when people actually watch me do this and then think, oh, you didn't even know how to shoot a gun. I'm like, well, I kind of do, but I'm panicking. When the guys get too close to me, I start to panic something shocking. Shot the go right in the anus, right in deep penetration. That's the most most kind of damage. All right, anyone else in here? No, there's not. Quickly just search you. Give me a mod. No mod from the shadows. Actually kind of useful and worth a little bit of coin too. I'll take you and search munitions box. Got too much munitions anyway. But I mean, you never know. I might find something good. You got to search all the nooks and crannies. All right, that's enough of that. I can't forget my main mission is to find car parts or like car parts boxes. A passing gas would be lovely right about now. Anything that might actually give me some, like, uh, some more bicycle parts or anything that I can make some sort of mobility thing out of. Like if I could get like, imagine like a sweet mobility scooter that you could deck out. Like something just to fang around these streets. Run over as long as we're happy about. All right, that would be amazing. I see you, Vulture. I see you flapping your wings over there. I've got no time for you. I'm heading off down this way. I need to find something. Something at all to make me feel better about my life. Just so I can get through. Ah, no. No. Uh, I, I see you up there too. I saw the shadow. I know where things are around. I just don't want you to sneak up behind me and ruin me. Well, I heard some Jeffrey explodes. I'm going to stay away from there and keep going this way. I could raid the town hall, but I don't feel like it's going to give me what I want. I'm going to keep looking. There's got to be something for me. It's going to keep going. Oh, oh, that's not a deer. I thought it was a deer. It was not. It was something much more teethier and much more deadlier. That was not good. I saw it coming. I was checking out this thing. I saw the two garage doors. And I was like, I reckon that's a garage. I might have a chance of finding some uh, some actual decent like uh, car parts or something in there. Turns out I was completely wrong. Well, I mean, I might, I might still be right, but that's not. I got so distracted. The wolf was smart. It distracted me with something I cared about and came up and ate my ass cheeks. That was zero fun. You bastard. <laughs> you made me bleed and stuff. You just ruined my day there, wolfy boy. All right, put one into you. Get my, to put my shovel away and grab you instead. See if I can't just get something good out of you in the last place. In the last place, first place, whatever. I'm distracted now. God, see, I get rattled. Anytime there's something four-legged and evil coming for me, I get totally thrown off. Right, take my uh, arrows back out of you. Let's raid this place and hopefully it was worthwhile. There's hopefully something good in here. That was a pretty good shot because a lot of zombies protecting it both upstairs and down. I've woken them all up though to bring them all outside to have a party out in the driveway instead. This is how like basketball started, isn't it? There was a party inside. I brought it out to the driveway. Well, I'm about to school you guys in the world of everything. Cop an arrow to you. Give an arrow to you. Yes. Oh man, I've missed this membering. I've missed being able to blow body parts off zombies with a bow or anything. It just feels good to watch their head pop like a like a red cordial filled balloon. Unfortunately, it seems there's nothing in the way of good loot in the garage, maybe up the top, even though this is like the entry point, so I doubt there's anything good up here. Get up the freaking thing. Eh, get up the thing. Eh, come on, seriously. Seriously, you're hitting your head up. Fine, I'll go the long way then. If you're going to make it difficult for me, I'll go around the outside. Like, I can't even get over the freaking car. I was going to make a joke about Eminem and say two trailer park girls. I got distracted by the fact I kept beating my face against the roof. Oh, God, you're just making things difficult for me now, aren't you? Anyone? Anyone still upstairs? Anyone at all? No, no, nothing. Still no car parts boxes. Maybe I should just cut my... Oh, machete. Oh, but I have my hunting knife, though. Oh, you're only worth 25. You're not fine. I'll scrap you. I don't have the space for you. Uh, anything in here? I don't have the, I've got one or too many things. I could use the steroids. I've got so much ammo. Why do I have so much ammo for the first time in my life? It's such a weird problem to have. I cancelled scrapping the machete because I was just thinking, like, I'm carrying around this bottle of acid, which is worth 24. The machete is worth 25. So I may as well just ditch the bottle of acid out in the wilderness. So it's all about dollar value here. It's all about dollar redos. If you ain't worth any dollar redos, you ain't worth nothing to me. Uh, there's a fire engine over there. There's an apartment block. Lots of things that I would like. Why am I still encumbered? I've still got one too many things on me. What in here is worth nothing. You're only worth like seven dollars. What am I carrying on old cash for? This is the th I, I, I have things in my inventory that I just think is worth money and worth holding on to. And then it turns out they're really not. And then I throw away things that are more valuable. And everyone in the comments gets really mad at me. So I'm sorry. I'll stop trying to do that. A fire station. What are the chances you've got something like any car parts box or anything? In fact, I haven't missed any like waterworks. This is anything somewhere. I don't think I have. I've been around the, uh, the block a couple of times. Nothing really seems to be there. That's all right. All right. Well, let's raid this place and see if we can get to the trader. 
sell some stuff, open up my inventory a little bit, and make my life just a little bit better. That's quite a lot of uh, magazines I found in there. Pity I woke everyone up by trying to get it. All right, you can just come over here, and I'll just go like, whoop, whoop, just like you, trying to use the club more and more. Even though, no, what am I doing? Of all times to use the club, this is not one of them. I've got a surplus of ammo I have to get through. I don't want to waste There's lots of boxes in here, which is a good sign. Maybe some of those will have some car parts in here. That's a reasonably good shot. Didn't have a lot to aim for, but got the job done anyway. No one creeping up me. Gun safe. All right. The fire station actually has some, has some good loot. I don't usually come in here, but I probably should. I can hear another zombie. I don't know where they are. All right. Well, let's just be loud for a little bit. See if we can draw them out into, well, into the open so I can kill them a bit easier. I might check upstairs first too. Why not? Got a bunch of points. So while they're all beating their way in to get me, I might even give myself a, a stay down since I haven't done it before. Skull Crush is already up there as well. What else do I need in here? Probably... Where's my, where's my looting? Uh, looting, looting, better, better, no. Although, that would help me when I actually get to the train. I might buy, I can't buy one of those, never mind. Where's everything else? Where, where's my lucky looter? I need to make sure I'm putting points in lucky looter as much as I can. Uh, mother load, no, that's not you. Someone just broke something over there. Lucky looter, there it is. Boom, give me one of those. It's always going to be shotgun messiah. Uh, some archery, why not? Use that a lot. And, uh, actually, no, no, I should, I've got two points left. Let's buy something that's actually worthwhile. Can't buy any more of you. Maybe I can if I go like this, and then like this. Nope, can't do that. Never mind. Damn it! God, I've got one more point to spend for the uh, healing factor. No, can't do that either. Intrinsic immunity. Sure, why not? All right. That's all my points spent. Where's everyone breaking in from? Someone from there, someone from there. There's lots of Jeffreys around. I just kill them and continue looting. First gun safe has not a lot of anything. I've got a mod, another compound bow, which is worth a little bit. I just, just ditched a compound bow. So many steel arrows. More steel arrows than I ever really know what to do with. Scrap those. Uh, scrap the shotgun. It's only worth 85. I'll take the ammo out of it instead. Scrap you. It's the old cash. It's only worth $248. I got rid of the cash before. Oh, I don't. I don't know. I'll take you as well. Fuck it. Why not? I've got the steroids in case anything goes wrong. I did beat down this gun safe as well. Ammo, ammo. Scrap that. Scrap that. More <gasps> sprods. I like sprods. And more, more cash. More ammo. So much. So much crap. All right. Whatever. Whatever. I don't even care anymore. It's very dark outside for one o'clock in the afternoon. Can I get up, please? I just need to break down the rest of these boxes. There's so many boxes to break. I want. And I bet you none of it's gonna have anything good either. None of these are gonna be vehicle boxes. Prove me wrong, game. You proved me right, game. Ooh, iron door and some more rebar frames. That is very, very good. But now I'm completely full and I'm too far away for to do anything good. But I did find some like a bunch of mods and stuff like that. So what can I put you actually into? Do you have another spot for me? You do not. Damn it. I just, the Shrewdle Purple die is so freaking cool. I'm so happy I found it. Uh, you've got a mod. You've all... Oh, I could fit another one in you. No, I can't. Never mind. I just... There's just too much stuff. I have too much gubbins now. I need to go sell some shit. Okay, whatever. I need to go sell a bunch of stuff to the trader with that. I may as well just use my steroids now. Use that. Try and get my last little bit done. So I can get to the trader in some sort of reasonable time. There we go. All right, where is the trader? Trader's up this way, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Okay, well, let's just go for a run. Go all the way there. Sell all the shit. Maybe stop off at home and drop off anything valuable, like the mods and stuff that I don't have any room for. Because the day I get, like, a good shotgun or, like, my AK or something like that, and then I was, like, thrown away my sprods, I'm going to be really, really upset with that. What up, Trader Joel? Oh, I left your door open. Sorry about that. Didn't mean to. I closed it now. We all G. All right, what have you got for me? Please have something good, and also please buy all my stuff. I could really use the cash. Uh, what up, Let knackers? Trader Bob, can I see your inventory? All right, buy all of this, please. Buy, yep, there we go. Sell all of that. Can I also sell, let's sell you all of my still arrow. Oh, there's way too many. Stack there, like that. Sell all of you. Right, we're doing we're doing reasonably okay. Sell these. That's worth a bit of coin. Sell these. That should be that's not worth much at all. Um, and sell you. I don't need magnum ammo. I very rarely use the magma, even if I have one, so I may as well sell those, sell that, sell the ski goggles, they're worth a pretty penny. Sell, sell, okay. We're starting to look reasonably okay. So much crap. That's so much crap on me. You will you buy all of these? Yes, you will. Look at that. I got almost six grand now. Lovely, zovely. Uh, what else am I missing? Not sure. All right. Do you have what? What mods do you have? Wait ahead. Nothing much there. Anything in here for me? Nothing much there either. Although, oh, sort of shotgun barrel. I could make my oh shit shotgun a little bit better, but I'm already full on mods for that one anyway. But do you have a better shotgun? No, you got a worse shotgun, mate. You are the fucking waste of my time. Oh, he's got an old sink to sell. I'll buy that and some lockers. Cause I can use some storage back at the house. 
Uh, anything else in here could use? Filing cabinet, mm, not a lot of storage in those ones. Fountain, cooler, uh, okay, not much there, not much there at all. What about armor? You got any armor for me? Let's go here, and just go, ah, uh, like that. Not much either, not much either. Hmm, although, I've got level 5 chest armor already. What actual armor do I have on, and what am I missing? I could use some gloves, because I can't put any mods in this one. And that's a really about it. You've got a mod on you, you've got, oh, you're full of mods, you've got a mod on you, you're full of mods. So it's really only the, like, the gloves that I'm missing. Well, do you have any gloves for me? Gle gloves. No, nothing. Donuts, you are a waste of all of my time. Do you have any jobs? No, nothing. Can I, eh, can I, I would, I'd love to be able to reach. I'd love to be able to reach your little, get, get over there. Can I reach it from over here, maybe? If I stand on here, reach up, just reach through the bars. Reach through the bars, come on, Jeffrey. Just steal behind his back, it'll be fine. You won't even notice. Okay, let's put down my... Uh, oh, what the shit? What the absolute... Oh, you are kidding me. Why are there Jeffreys inside my house? That is not okay. Now I'm gonna go through and clear all this shit out again? How they respawn here? Oh, it's because I took my bedroll away. As far as the game's concerned, it's now a normal POI. Josh? Silly boy. Right, well, let's fix that one up right now. Let's put you back down to here. That scared the dick out of me. Of all the things I was expecting, getting punched in the face by a zombie was absolutely not one of them. Get you guys out of the way. Put another kitchen sink. Oh, I wish that gap was perfect. Yeah, just like that. There we go. Look at that double sink. It's ugly. It doesn't have the same color scheme as the other one, but whatever. Beggars can't be choosers. It's got storage space, and that is what I need. You can be my bicycle storage. Everything that I think I go on a bike goes in there. Uh, in fact, what actually goes onto a bike? Let's see. Bi bicycle? Bicycle. What do you need? Wheel, bike, chassis, handlebars, mechanical parts. Alright, let's put some mechanical parts in there. I sold all my mechanical parts. Oh, that's right. I'll get some more. You know what? Uh, yeah, let's just sell the hunting rifle. What's the point of having the hunting rifle? I never actually freaking use it. Complete. Uh, get you. Scrap that. And let's put a bunch of mods in there too, actually. Why not? All of you. Uh, can I use the plastic plating? I don't think so. I don't think I have enough space in there. Put all of you in here. Yeah, that'll be fine. Um, I'll use those for the next one. What else do I have in here? Anything in here that is actually useful to me? Oh, one mechanical parts. You know what? Never mind. You can go in there too. Look at that. Perfect. Just to be a bit cheeky because I'm just that kind of guy. Eh, just like that. There we go. See? It all works out in the end. The side's a little bit how you're going, but let's see. Let's get this one and come at that side. Normal people wouldn't care about that, but uh, I'm not a normal person. Put all you in there as well. Uh, I've just put too many things in here this time, actually. Put you in there because you're a vehicle part. Bunch of mods. I don't need the gun in there. I know I just sold a bunch of magnum ammo and now I have a magnum. Well, I already had a magnum, but I just left it in here. But uh, whatever, you know. Sometimes you just gotta, you gotta take what you're given and just accept it. Oh, I've got to drop everything off though. Where, what's left in here that I can just put things in? Just like you, you, yeah. Everything here, everything I don't need on me right now goes in the box. All right, that looks about fine. Put you there. And we'll put, what else, do I, what else do I need on my tool belt? Maybe, maybe that one. Why not? There we go. I've got uh, most of this cleared up. My steroids have worn off. I need to hit up the other trader before it's too late. Got my bedroll back down so they shouldn't spawn there again. I'd love if I could actually buy like a, a land claim block or something from the trader. I need to go this way. It's also coming up to the day 14 horde. So I might spend tonight out on the room, out in the middle, because like, there's this town over here that I might have to like hit up. Maybe there's a, a passing gas or something over there. Maybe even a waterworks or something. Something I can hit up over there will hopefully be okay. Uh, I need to hit the trader first and spend the night out, yeah, out in the town and then come home tomorrow ready for the horde. I just need, I need that bicycle. Having a mode of transport is a game changer in seven days. Normally, I mean, you could just go about it and get it yourself, but when it's a lot, in this kind of game mode, you're really going to take what you're given, literally, and just hope for the best. What up, boy? Hopefully you got something better than the last Jeffrey did. Any zombies? I'm always paranoid about zombies spawning inside traders now. Ever since it happened in, like, GFM8 mode, now I'm always thinking, like, I just don't trust the world. Maybe there'll be zombies. Zombies in this trader, who knows? But it seems to be relatively okay. Oh, can I can I reach yours? I can. I've been I've been here before even. Get rid of that. Yep, still empty. Because I, I, I like having empty containers, because then they go back to like being untouched. They don't respawn to untouched unless they get emptied first. So even though the loot will respawn instantly if I then emptied it later, I like knowing whether I've been there before or not. Uh what have you got for me? First things first, check the secret stash, weapon flashlight. Tempting. Boots, not so tempting. Magazine, okay, nothing nothing really there at all. What am I actually here for, even? What, what am I looking for? I've got confused. Let's see, you've got any, uh, it was gloves I needed, wasn't it? Leather gloves, oh, level three. 
Done. You know what? Let's not think about it. Let's just get them done and dusted straight away. Uh, I don't know. I've left all my mods back home, though. Damn it, Josh. All right, he doesn't really have much for me anyway, but whatever. I wasn't really expecting much. He gets restocked tomorrow. So I assume most of the other traders do as well. It is almost night time. Where, where are we going? We're going to head... Wait, did I go to the wrong trader? I went to the wrong trader. No, it took me so long to get here. I thought it was longer than normal. Uh, is that... It looks like there's a town down there. Well, fuck it. I, I know there's another town over the other trader. I'm already here. There's no point wasting time running off to the other one. Plus, the buried supplies are over here somewhere. Who knows? Maybe this might be a blessing in disguise. My own stupidity might lead me to the passing gas gold. I mean, what, what, that looks like something. I'm not sure. I don't know. We'll get into town and we'll see what we can find. Anytime there's buildings around, I hold out... Oh, ooh. What, sometimes this happens, you know? Sometimes you just find random... Oh, God. Random drop loot out in the middle of nowhere. Thank you, thank you. Can of pass. That's always good. Blood draw kit. I mean, you might be worth a bit. You're not worth much at all, actually. Never mind. I'm a little bit thirsty. Drink some water. And continue on our way. Oh, it's about to get dark. But that's all right. I can still go on raids at night time. It's just mildly more dangerous. This is one of those famous military and waterworks bases. Plus, like, the big iron antennas. <laughs> that's all that seems to be here. But that's all right. Let's, uh... Let's see if we can wake some Jeffreys up. We'll just beat on that for a second. Get their attention. Someone's awake over there. That's okay. That's not the worst thing in the world. I just need to get some zombies out here. So I can shoot them through like the wire fence. No, no one's, no one's going to show up there. What about over here? I want to hit the waterworks before night time as well. How about you? Is that, did that wake someone up? So, you know what? Fuck it. Someone wake up. Please let me shoot. Let's just see someone so I can shoot them. I see Arlene all the way down there. You know, let's just go like this. Boom. Headshot. Right up the duff. Up the duff again. Take him out from distance. The pistol can do everything. Oh, a marksman rifle. That's not actually not that bad. A uh, high... Oh, they all have quite a lot of money too. Right, take all of that. Uh, you guys are coming for me as well. That's the wrong button. Uh, let's quickly break into here. It's almost night time. It's almost night time. I'll hit this army base. I'll grab the, the mods out of the library inside the, the tent over there. Then I'll go to the waterworks. And just like last time, I can spend the night in the basement of a waterworks just fine with no real issues. Let's just, everyone pray to whatever gods you may have. Let it be it Tom Cruise, Jennifer Lopez, or even Jennifer Aniston. I don't care who you love. Just pray to them that there's, there's not going to be any like, radiators or anything too bad in the bottom of that waterworks. Because if there is, I'll be in a little bit of trouble. It's getting late. I just, I just want some good shit, you know? I just want to, like, it, I feel like it's it's more exciting going on looting raids this way because I'm so reliant on getting something good that when I do find something good, it's worth so much more to me. Like, for example, something good in here. Oh, actually, that's actually not bad. Trigger group, I'll take that, take that. The level two shotgun. No, not worth that much. Grab that ammo. You, you, lots of shotguns, actually. Oh, didn't want that. Scott. Grab that one. Money, compound bow. You can stay there. Oh, it got real dark all of a sudden. Oh, I heard. I heard. I see. Oh, God. It's very dark and it's hard to see. Oh, God, I heard the I heard the padding of the puppy. And I was like, uh oh, that's not a good noise. Like, normally you hear a puppy going like, <laughs> and you get really excited. But then it turns out in seven days, that's a really bad time. There's lots of water work, waterworks is even over here. All right, we're going this one. Oh, that's, I thought it was another pup. It's not. It's just a deer. Wow, Josh. Wow. It's not even moving very fast. You can't even shoot it. No one saw that. I might have to cut that out of the video. I won't, but like that was just fucking embarrassing. My bad. Got no time for faffing around. There's only like half an hour left before night time. I need to get in there and get uh, kill all the zombies before they get even more deadly than they already were. Let's uh, actually for once, let's like close that behind me. I don't know who's coming in behind. Sounds like there's some Jeffrey's already awake around here somewhere. Who knows what I'm walking into? Let's see. An army dude... And it looks like another army dude down there. Not sure. Doesn't really matter to me. Boom! Right in the back of the noggin. He is dead. Anyone else in here who's awake? No ferals. Just a couple. Oh, not one feral. Just a couple of army dudes as well. That's all right. Put you down like that. So drop, drop loot. Thank you very much. Oh, the shotgun. The shotgun is the bill and the end all. I fucking love this beast. Quickly just wipe out this whole room. See if I can get over to like that secret stash as well. It is usually one up there. One into you. Oh, here he died on the first shot. Never mind. One in the dick. Wait, how did that not... How is that not hitting you? Seriously? <laughs> Alright, never mind. I'll go skeet shooting for construction workers instead. Oh, shit. Except for what I can't hit. I can hit him flying through the air, but I can't hit him standing still on the ground. It is now night time. Let's just get the secret stash before anyone else wakes up and we'll be A-OK. -okay. Oh, that's a good day. Level 5 pistol. I'll take that one. I'll scrap that one and because I can put all the mods that I got back at base inside it. 
Plus a customized fittings I found in one of the boxes as well. Good, 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 good. Okay, you're worth a hundred bucks a pop. I'll scrap that one because it's the cheaper one of the two. Uh, and I'll scrap that one because it's worth nothing to me. Okay. All right, we're doing, we're doing reasonably okay. I like this. Uh, let's scrap that one as well. You're not worth much. And let's put the... Where is it? This one. Let's put you straight in there. And I'll, I'll take you and I'll get you that mod out of there as well. Oh, lovely, lovely. Lovely, freaking lovely, lads. Look at all the good shit we're getting. I've broken open all of the crates, but before I do anything, I need to... I've got one point to spend, and I want to put it into Lucky Looter. I'm not sure how I get to do that. Do I have to buy... What am I missing here? I need Perception Level 5, which is like... God, a long way away, actually. All right, never mind. Maybe I might even save it for a later, Josh, uh, to put it into Lucky Looter. Because Lucky Looter is the most important perk by a long way. But let's, seeing as I can't actually put the point into it, let's see if a car parts box can be anything good. <sighs> I mean, repair kits, okay? I might even just spend one of those. Oh, wait, no, because... So they changed the way the repair kits work now. So it used to be like a repair kit would heal only a certain amount per item. And now they've changed that you have smaller stacks of repair kits, but one repair kit will entirely heal an item, which is very, very good. I'll take the engine. Don't need the rest of that, Gubbins. Let's search your workers. Uh, not nothing in there either. You're worth nothing. Scrap that. You're worth something. I'll keep you. What about the hardened chest? Oh, so much ammo. I don't need steel ammo. Go away. I'll take you. I'll scrap you. I'll take you. I need to stop bringing full stacks of like 9 mil and arrows with me. Because I always find extras and I just don't need it with me. Put you in there. Look at that. Now I have a full stack of shotgun ammo as well. We are kicking absolute goals. I just need to have less stuff on me at all times. <sighs> all right. Well, that's all of that done. It's almost... Well, it's, that's bang on midnight, actually. There's lots more to do in this town. I need to go hit this other waterworks there. And hopefully find some more stuff. There's lots to do. Lots and lots and lots. This is why I need the bicycle as well. Storage space. I need to be able to bang all this shit into something so I can keep exploring without having to throw shit away. I hate doing stuff away at the best of times. And this just annoys me. In fact, are you guys even worth anything? You're worth 86. That's actually not that bad. I got excited about the fittings and I realized I can't do anything with it anyway. This is why you should be able to pay the trader the craft shit for you. Surely. There needs to be like, like a hub of people in each trader. Like tradesmen and stuff that you can pay to do shit for you. Anyway, I can whinge about that and what I wish this game had in another episode. Because this episode is done. So thank you guys for watching. Most of all, thank you to all the patrons on Patreon who made this episode possible. If you like, make sure you like button down below or subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter if I don't talk to you there first. I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.